So hi everyone, my name is Teresa and I'm very happy to be here with you. Okay. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be talking about some extended techniques that you can do on the flute. And I put my email here in case you have any questions or you want to go further in detail. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, so so oh, that's sorry. about um so um um okay um did you put your email oh, okay so it's in the um ایمیل شو یادداشت کنین اگه سوالی داشتین میتونین از ترسا بعدا بپرسین امروز هم ما در مورد تکنیک های اکستندد فلوت میخوام صحبت کنم تکنیک هایی که از حوزه کلاسیک فلوت خارج میشه So today we're going to be talking about the effects that you can do on the flute. And if you have any questions, feel free always to raise your hand or jump in. I'm very happy to make this not only a one-way dialogue, but a conversation. Uh, raise hand or step or shit in pine. I'm uh, Shomagin Nigakunin to your participants. I give it in the alamata raise hand or a yoinke as to your reactions. Nitunit was mentioned by the gag. Only does think a Hosha Michel Tavan saw before Saint Bene Bene. Half a game is an. The last sedition Haley Zay for Tavan Besakti Michelin. Mosadation of Huba must do no mission. Um, Teresa, they're saying that they're having trouble hearing you well. Can you raise your volume in some way? Can you hear better here? Yeah. Okay. So the first uh, technique that we're going to talk about is the frullato. This is one of the most common techniques and it's used in a lot of music. Um, this technique is one of those that you can use on every range of the flute. Mm -hmm. خب این یکی از فولاتو یکی از خیلی رایج ترین تکنیک های فلوت و روی همه رجستر فلوت هم میتونید اینو اجرا کنید. So when doing frullato we have two ways to make it happen on the flute. One is with our tongue saying and the other one is with our throat saying and the ending result is the same or very very similar um the only difference is that for some people it's easier one or another one so i'll just demonstrate both <laughs> that was with my tongue and now with my throat خب این دو تا حالت داره اجراش یکی که با زبون انجام میدن یکی که با حلقه و بستگی به این که نوازنده ها شخصا در چه حالت راحت ترن معمولا انتخاب میکنن و نتیجه صدایی چون معمولا خیلی شبیه به همه یا تقریبا اصلا یکیه the way of notating the frullato tends to be with these lines over the staff, but sometimes you can find FRLL -L as a abbreviation also of frullato. Mm -hmm. And this is generally very similar for notation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> شاهین نوت میذارن استفاده کنی یا اینکه همین F U R L L بنویسین بالای نوت 
اونم باز نشون بده لاورنده که باید این کار انجام So that's regarding prelato and our next technique it's going to be harmonics. This is one of the most natural thing to do on the flute because the flute actually works with harmonics. We can say our only natural register is the low one. But then our second, third and fourth octave are built with harmonics. So what we do is just overblow the notes and that way we get partials. And we adjust a little bit the fingerings to make a better tone or better intonation. خب چیزی که هست که هارمونیک کلن ساختاره همون طبیعی فلوته که با یه مقدار فشار هوای بیشتر و همین که یه مقداری که بخوان حالا انگوش گذاری رو تطبیق بدن برای اینکه که بخواد کوک دقیق تر باشه این هارمونیک ها رو این شکلی تعیین میکنه یعنی و در, در واقع خود این که ریژیس توی فلوت میخواد عوض بشه خودش اصلا همین پروسه در واقع هارمونیکه So you mean that uh, basically when uh, you can't really like have harmonics written for the like um, second octaves of flutes so that would be like the normal notation right oh yeah you can and um, the thing with harmonics is that we have different ways of well we have you can produce a note in different ways based if that's the octave or the fifth or the third of five and that changes the color of the tone so mm -hmm. for example in here they are asking to play harmonics which is just the same note uh, higher but sometimes they ask for other partials too um yeah so for example i'll play a high d i should i explain them that first or, or should i just play um for example a high d like this d um this d mm -hmm. i can come from d or i can come from g mm -hmm. and it has a different tone this is from d coming from our low D or from G. بچه ها متوجه شد این اینا همین هارمونیک رو با دوتا پایه مختلف اجرا کرد و دیدین چقدر رنگ صدایش فرق میکنه یه سری با پایه ر گرفت همون هارمونیک و یه سری همون هارمونیک و پایه سول گرفت و رنگ صدایش کاملا متفاوته so another kind of useful tool of harmonics is that they are going to allow us to build multiphonic like in this case various sonata he uses harmonics and multiphonics so just putting two partials together خب الان اون وقت همین هارمونیک شکل مولتیفونیک گرفت شما مولتیفونیک رو تا حالا آشنایی داشتیم باهاش یعنی در واقع دو تا پار... بیشتر از یک پارشال رو همزمان داره میزن okay. so other techniques that you can do to extend the tone is whistle tones which are probably one of the quietest um, techniques on the flute. Or... I don't know if you're able to hear it on the other side. Yeah. Um, so basically it's it it can't like go very like forte or, or even mezzo forte it's just always like maximum maybe piano yeah yeah okay so that's very whistle tone how was it to be به نوانس خیلی بالا برسه همیشه 
مثلا ماکسیمم نوانسی که بخوام برای ویسل تو در نظر بگیریم میتونه پیانو باشه and our next technique um, it's the trumpet embouchure this works as if you were playing a brass instrument doing the buzzing in your lips uh, but we do this inside of the flute Do you also have the bass flute now? I have the alto flute here. Yeah, that sounds like much better in lower flutes. Famidin chishot inja techniki ke ببینیم وقتی که نوازنده فلوت داره میزنه اینجوری نیستش که لب کاملا به ساز بچسبه لب بالای ساز خب ولی توی تکنیک برس لب میچسبه به دهنه ساز و اینجا این کار داره میکنه که با تکنیکی که نوازنده برس دارن میزنن روی فلوت میزنه و صدایی که میده خیلی صدای شبیه به رنگ صدای ساز برس میشه بعد به خصوص حالا اگه الان الان بیس فلوتش رو نداشت ولی من خودم همین توی که از قطعان برای بیس فلوت استفاده دیگه هم صده فوقلاده ای میده I just said that, that I also use it for uh, the piece I wrote for you for bass flute yeah yeah it yeah. sounds great yeah um, and the only thing to be mindful is after we do a lot of buzzing it's sometimes hard to go back to our normal embouchure. So mm. we can do it, just be mindful that yeah. this really makes our lips tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also had to like care about that. Um, نکته که گفتش که اینه که فقط با حواستون باشه چون ترومپت ام باشه باعث میشه که نوازنده فلوت لباشه خیلی سریع خسته بشه و خیلی با مراعات و ملاحظه اینو به کار رو بریم مثلا بعدش رست بدیم به نوازنده یا مثلا یه چیزی بذاریم که یه حالت استراحت برای لبه نوازنده داشته باشه Great, so regarding singing and playing this can be very natural um, and there are different ways of notating this you can put either on the same stuff or separate stuff and when you put in separate stuff, it tends to use the vocal line with diamond heads. Um, we can do independent lines, like it's, we'll just have to practice more, but it's doable. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel the only restriction in here or in this technique will be the voice range of your, the instrumentalist that you're working with. Okay. Um... But uh, I just need to translate this first before I will ask Shayan for ans for uh, asking questions. Um, so this is um, me که اینجا و پس خیلی واضحه دیگه هم اینکه نوازنده هم بتونه ده این اینکه داری میزنه یه چیزی بخونه فقط اینکه باید مشخص کنید براش روی دونه سپرد استاف دیگه که مثلا چه پیچه اگه پیچش فرق میکنه میتونید روی یه دونه استف دیگه همینجوری که اینجا داره یه استف دیگه گذاشته که پیچی که نوازنده میخواد به خونه رو مشخص کرده بعد با حالا هدن هد، سر لوتو حالت دایمن گذاشته اون لوزیایی که چند چیز We just lost your screen Teresa oh, let me yeah, uh, yeah. Let me reopen. Oh, Shayan, you want to ask your question? Then, Karma. Uh, uh, sorry, first of all, I can barely hear you. And next, about the trumpet sound, I didn't exactly understand the notations. Okay, can you hear me better now? Yes, a little. Okay, mm. I'll try to speak as loud as I can. So, Actually, you can ask, if you have a headphone, you can ask me to ask you to 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 
ممکنه این مقدار یه نویز باشه بیرون که باعث بشه باسه ناخنه صدای شما سه برابر ایشونه یه ذره از اون وقت خیلی ضعیفه و یه نه میکنم اون کارو من اوکی خب این نوت نگاریش من yes please oh sorry so the notation no. um, you can write whatever you, like the a line for indicating the buzzing that you want your flutist to make and this is the example here and then you can ask the flutist to play fingerings and that way you can get your buzzing changing the pitch So it's like an oh. effect to the tone that comes out of the flute. Like a frullato, but it's a buzzing in the lips. So, like in here. So we're changing the pitch. Okay. Like, yeah. Thank you. ام یه چیز دیگه هم که هست در مورد نوت نویسی باز این حالا به قطعه خودت هم برمیگرده مثلا من توی استایلی که برای قطعه هم داشتم همین تکنیک رو استفاده کردم برای نوت هم هدینگ طراحی کردم حالا الان I don't actually remember what was the heading for that effect that I had in my piece um, ولی um, باز بستگی داره که توی قطعت کلن سیستم نوت نویسی چجوری پیش رفته یعنی حتی دوست. الزامی نداره که حتما یه چیزی که حالا سیستمی که قبلا رایت شده حتما رایت کنی فقط میتونی هر سیستمی داشته باشی توی اینسترکشنت اون وقت بنویسی که مثلا من اینجا اینو منظورم بوده یا حتی میشه اون بالا نوشت همین اسم تکنیکو بزنه دیگه چون خیلی الزامی به یه نوت خاصی مثلا هارمونیک نیست به نظر. باز بستگی هم... به قطعت داره دیگه چجوری میتونم ببینی برای نوازنده راحت تره متوجه مرس کامران دی یو هاد ا کوشن یا آی هاد ا کوشن بات یو انسور دات بیفور آی اسک ابات دی نوتیشن اف سینگ اند پلی بات سمثینگ آی وانت تو اد ابات شایانس پرابلم تو هیرینگ دی وایس اف تریسا یس هر وایس از وری ویک بات نات دات ماچ and not be heard. Uh, it's clear for me, I think I should increase the volume of the device. Okay. okay, let me try that quickly. Okay, I put it all the way up. Yeah, sometimes I have to lower whenever we're doing playing and um, okay, so any other questions on those? Thank you for suggesting that. Um, so any other questions on those techniques that we have spoken or shall we just keep going? Yeah, we can keep going. Okay, so our next one was uh, the, oh no, I think I skipped one. So multiphonics. Mm, this is one of, of the very common techniques as well. Um, it means playing several notes at the same time. And this is one of those techniques that is still not fully developed. Like we still find new fingerings, uh, new possibilities on the flute. So it's always an exploration whenever you're doing multiphonics. Um, something I'd recommend whenever you're working on multiphonics is sometimes you see on papers at the pitch but each multiphonic it's going to have a very particular color or timbre. So it's uh, wonderful if you can, whatever you want to work, explore with your instrumentalist. خب الان این نکته خیلی مهمی بود که ببینین هر کدوم از این مالتیفونیک هایی که اینجا توی همین توی همین اگزمپل پایینش نوشته خب اینا هر کدوم رنگایی که داره با هم فرق میکنه یعنی اینجا نیست که شما همه پارشیالا رو با یه نوانت کنار هم بشنوید و بعضی از مالتیفولیک ها اینجوری که خیلی حالا باز به نوازندن بستگی داره به ساز برای سازه مختلف هم فرق میکنه بعضی مالتیفولیک ها مثلا اینجوری که اول مثلا ممکنه پیچ بالا باشه بعد شما مثلا پیچ پایین رو بشنوید باز فرق میکنه ساختار اینا 
که این خوبه که میگه که با نوازدتون همیشه اینا رو چک کنید قبل از اینکه که میخوایی نهایی کنید اگه مثلا قطعتون جوری که دقیقا مثلا میدونین چه مالتیفونی که میخواین قبل از اینکه بنویسید با خود نوازده چک کنید چون باز نوازنده به نوازنده هم رنگاش فهم کنید Did you mean also that the color of multiphonics is also related to each individual performers? Oh no, it's it's okay. kind of a standard. But okay. there are some multiphonics that are more stable than others mm-hmm. and have richer possibilities. Like, for example, in this piece, we have C and D, and that's a very rich multiphonic on every flute. <laughs> But for example, if I want to play a lower one, that type of multiphonic is only going to give me a piano. Like if I try to push it to forte, it's going to break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, I think the first thing is that the multiphonic is standard. ولی باید در نظر داشته باشین که همونجوری که گفتم ساختاراشون فرق میکنه مثلا مثل اون اولی که زد اون خیلی استیبل تره یعنی میتونه اونو مثلا مدت بیشتری مثلا به عنوان نوت کشیده میتونی ازش استفاده کنی ولی یه چیزی که مثلا مثل مثال دومیه باید در نظر داشته باشین اگه میخواین اینو مدت طولانی استفاده کنی یا حتی نوانسش اینجوریه که خیلی حالته اینجوری نیستش که همه نوتا رو همزمان به شما بده دیدین که حالت چیز داره که بین پارشال یه خورده حالت بازی جهش مانند داره And I forgot because we got into some technical issues but I, I'll just demonstrate the example of singing and playing um, the one above And sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> okay, great. So our next example for possibilities that you can do about extending the tone, it's going to be the jet whistle. When you um. sing... We had we had we had actually two questions about uh, multiphonics before we go to jet whistle. Oh, yeah. um, so um, I will first answer Mila that myself that yes you you need to write the figurings for the performers. That, that makes our lives easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but maybe, maybe um, Teresa, maybe you can suggest a resource for that. Oh, like what, what I can do actually, use? yeah, I think one of the most complete books nowadays is the Levine book. So I can send you a PDF. Yeah. That just for, good. yeah, just for personal use, you know, it's one of those things that we should not Copyright. put on the internet. Okay. Well, um, PDF resource I about to me for so far. How was it on Bosch? How was it on things? But I'll send out well, time it's PDF. The same you can do, like from base to piccolo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think you your sound got disrupted a little bit. So, you what you meant was for the copyright issue, right? Yeah, just. Keep it by, for yourself. Okay. Yeah. All right. In PDF, all right, me first team. Lord, fan, joy, pash, na koni. Dige. Hamin tu e kelas bemune pish khodetun. Jo vakh mizanan kolle mem siru taatil mikonan. Sar hamin dostane copyright. Ina nigerdan pish khodetun joy ham publish na koni bene bisi. Fa bar istabat shaksi. We had one more question, I guess, from Kamran. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wanted to ask, uh, there are some websites uh, who, which uh, give fingerings about the multiphonics. I wanted to ask, we can trust those websites. Oh can yeah, we trust? Uh, well, I know one that it's like, I think like f- 
fluid generator or something like that. Um, in, in general, I feel they work very well. But sometimes there are slightly things that have happened that I have encountered while working with composers. Like they bring a fingering from a website and that it's not quite working. Yeah, I also want to add issues to that. Um, یه چیزای اونا ندارن اون این که ببینید وقتی حالا این پی دی اف رو که حالا براتون میفرستم من با باتون شیر میکنم توی این پی دی اف نشون میده که مثلا شما توی این مولتفونیک مثلا میتونی کرشندو داشته باشی یا نه تا چقدر میتونی کرشندو داشته باشی کدوم نوتا استیبل تره کدوم مولتفونیکا هی حالت بازی داره اینا همه توی این کتاب ها هست که توی این وبسایت ها هیچ کدوم نیست و اینا اتفاقا شاید بگم این یک اینا واسه یه آهنگساز اطلاعات خیلی مهمتریه تا اینکه حالا بخوای فینگرینگ رو فقط داشته باشی چون وقتی داری قطر می نویسی باید فکر کنی که خب حالا من این تونی که می خواهم چقدر اصلا واسه من جواب میده توی این لحظه Can I have four jobs there? Can I have like crescendo, decrescendo? And so Thank you, Nazim. So the jet whistle is one of those effects that needs a little bit of time for preparation and after you have the effect because it resonates on the flute and if you put something quickly after, like it's impossible to hear the jet whistle. Um, the name comes from this idea of emulating an airplane, like they did when they go out. And it's just a quick um, stream of air into the flute. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the jet visa, you can't understand the jet visa. You can't understand the jet visa. You داستانش اینده که این خودش باید رزونانتش شنیده بشه بعد دیگه به خاطر رزونانس این شما نمیتونی بلا فاصله بعدش یه چیزی بخواهی یه خاطر یه مثلا How many seconds? Maybe one or two seconds after that you will need Yeah, I would like a second Yeah Sorry Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, یک ثانیه بعد بعدش رو در نظر داشته باشین که نمیتونین چیز داشته باشین And I also wanted to ask, so we had two versions of with jet whistle, one that goes up, one mm-hmm. that goes down. Yeah. Um, so I'll just demonstrate. And you can indicate that with arrows, mm-hmm. up or down. So, or. But I no jet whistle, I know that I know that I الان توی این مثال پایینی فلش زده مشخص میکنیم حتی من خودم یه فلش به سر نوت وصل کرده بودم این شکلی که این جت ویسیلی که پیچش میره به سمت بالا یا جت ویسیلی که پیچش میره به سمت پایین so الان همینی که زد مثال اولی بود که داشت میره بالا مثال دومی اومد پایین Okay, and now talking about the kind of percussive effects that you can make on the flute. We have the pizzicato, which is like doing an effect with your lips. We have two types of pizzicato, either with the lips or with our tongue. Okay, I'll demonstrate that. And if you want to use lip pizzicato, you use LP, and if you want to use tongue pizzica to TP. That way we know mm-hmm. what type of pizza okay. you want to use. Pas um, total no pizza cotta dorim, yeki kiba labe, yeki kiba zabune. Bari ye in kibehan pizza cotta bo laptosh to bushin, mizanin L, nocte P, nocte. Bari ye choose bari bo zabun, mizanin T, nocte P, and in tongue pizza cotta. Um, and I also want to ask a question. So, if you want to have it like frequently, I I assume that then the tongue pizzicato will be easier for have it like 
frequent pizzicato than le pizzicato, am I right? Yeah. You think? It's kind of the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's, it's that type of effect, like the jet whistle, it needs a slight preparation. It's not, oh, it's not instant, like, tonguing, that it's there. It's mm -hmm. tiny, tiny. We can play fast, but... Okay. خب من رو سوالی که ازش پرسیدم اینه که من به نظرم اومد برای پیتزه کاتا اگه بخواد مثلا یا هم چیزه بخواد اینو خیلی زیاد و پشت سر هم سری داشته باشه احتمال دادن که مثلا برای پیتزه کاتی که با زبون انجام میشه راحت تر تا پیتزه کاتی که بخواد با لب باشه که گفتش که به نظر خودش جفتش یکیه و جفتش هم راحته که بخواد سری پشت سر هم اجرا کنه And then something else relating to the pits is that this is one of those techniques that it's going to be used on the low registers of the flute. Um, because what we do is just a percussive effect, reducing whatever we have opened on the tube to resonate. So we can kind of fake it on the second octave, but not really on the third. Can you also do it on the alto flute? Oh, yeah. I think that will give like more, much more richer sound then. That's true. And that's one of those effects that uh, the bigger the flute, the stronger it sounds. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the pizzicato was when it was alto, it was very good and very good. It was very good. و هرچی فلوت بزرگتر بشه این صدا خیلی پرقدرت تره دیگه I forgot what did you say آها نکته مهم که این فقط روی رجیستر اول فلوته این رجیستر بالا اگه به خانج را بشه خیلی این کیفیت ها دیگه نده حالت فیک میگیره به خودش Sorry, Milad, I just saw your question. What did you want to hear again? <laughs> that was for Pizzicato, which he already heard. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> And so the next effect, uh, the key clicks, it's also as bigger the flute, the louder it gets. But you should keep in mind, this is one, like I will say, this is the softest effect on the flute. Like, <laughs> remember in your piece Nassim we were struggling to make it loud if you want to loud probably use amplification microphone yeah a microphone oh, yeah microphone. so yeah. we ended up key slapping I guess key slapping and yeah then so um other other ma in a canary trumpet dust in both your lawn کلیک اگه بخوایم به این شکل که دونه دونه بخواد کی کلیک بکنه خیلی صدای ضعیفیه ما نهایت به مجبور شد ترسه که کی اسلپ داشته باشه یعنی این شکلی این فرق میکنه نمیشه میگن کی اسلپ کی کلیک اینه کی کلیک خب صدای خیلی حالت قطر مانند تری میده تا کی اسلپ ولی خب مجبور بودیم دیگه اگه میخواین کی کلیک استفاده کنین و صدای خیلی بلند میخواین حتما در نظر بگیرین که میکروفون باید بذارید کنار سازتون وگرنه توی سالن بزرگ شنده نمیشه مگر اینکه سالنت خیلی کوچیک باشه مثلا مثل یه گالری باشه که آدینس کلا اینجوری بشینه کنار پرفورمر خوب میشنه When your audience is just stuck to the performance, that will work. <laughs> yeah. And key clicks is one of those techniques and that you can combine with other techniques. And someone that did this a lot, and if you want to look at how to mix things together, is Brian Fernihau, like in Cassandra Dream Song. He asked you to play and hold a tone plus doing key clicks. Mm. Hmm. 
So also when when doing multiphonics, you can mix other things like singing or using frillato. So feel free to explore. I find that as a performer, it's always fun to see new things. Wow. But it, it should be also depending on what kind of multiphonics or what kind of um, tone you're having. So you can't have like for everything, it will conflict, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. خب الان مثالی که براتون زد مثال از فرنه ها بود که اینجا یه نوت کشیده رو داره در حین اینکه کیکیلیک هم میخواد توی یه نوت دیگه نکته که باید اینجا بهش توجه کنین این که آره حتی مالتیفونیک هم شما میتونین داشته باشین در کنارش کیکیلیکس باشه which I will definitely think about that بعدش کلن میتونین همیشه این رو در نظر بگیرین که میشه خیلی تکنیکال با هم ترکیب کرد فقط باید حواستون باشه که فینگرینگ ها با هم تداخل پیدا نکنه یا یعنی اینکه کلا نظر مثلا مالتیفونیک دیجو سی آلسو مالتیفونیکس اند سینگینگ نه او واو خب دیگه این دیگه خیلی اکستریمش بود که دیگه این هم حتی امکانش هست دیگه که در این اینکه مالتیفونیک داره اجرا میکنه حتی سینگینگ هم باشه But then it also should be like uh, different each person to another, right? Well, maybe on what whatever your performer is comfortable, but I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. And our last percussive effect uh, for today is going to be the tongue rams. Those are written with TR and they sound them um, seven below, at major seven below what it's written. And like the jet whistle, we need a little bit of time. The lower the flute, the harder it gets to make it. Like in the bass flute, it's kind of hard to make it happen, but I mean, it's possible. And they resonate better on the lower flute. Oh, so you say that the like, um... Okay, yeah, I remember. It will take more energy. The bass, the bass, uh, lower the flute will be. Yeah. And can you also uh, say it how you do it? So it's like the tongue will like slap to the. Um... Yeah, you do. You close the hole. And that's why it takes a millisecond to adjust if you're going from tone. <laughs> It's not, well, mm -hmm. yeah. takes a tiny, tiny, tiny second just to roll in. Yeah, because in a message at Vissel, um, cheese will hot. Yeah, I'll let you have a money, my hot care, uh, prepare Connie. Oh, I just wanted to double check something actually with you. Um, so for jet whistle, you meant actually to have time before the jet whistle, not after the jet whistle, right? Yeah, after. After. Yeah. After jet whistle. Yeah, because if I make a jet whistle okay. and play a note right after, I cut the... Mm -hmm. Right. Takes a second to ring. Mm -hmm. I see. I cut it. Oh, sorry. I... <laughs> for, for tangram, you want to prepare in beforehand. You want time before tongue round. Well, it's just not much, but it takes a tiny second just to close. Okay. Just mind whatever, if you're blowing, that tiny millisecond that it will take you to go from to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be very quick, but what I'm saying, yeah. Okay. Tiny, tiny second. Okay. So I need to translate this. Um, چیزی که میگه واسه تانگرام داره در واقع با زبونش این دهنه فولتو میبنده به خاطر همین یک زمان خیلی کمی میخواد دهد نیم ثانیه که بتونه اینو آماده بکنه یعنی نمیتونه چیزی حالت لگاتو بلافاصله قبلش داشته باشه 
نکته دیگه این که هر چه فلوت شما رجیستر پایین تریه مثلا التو فلوت یا بیس فلوت این خیلی انرژی بیشتری میبره واسه تانگرام چون خیلی تنف حجم زیادی از هوا رو اینجا نوازنده داره استفاده میکنه به خاطر همین اگه میخوایم مثلا خیلی پشت سر هم داشته باشیم مثل من توی قطعه آنانم دن بعد حواستون باشه که خیلی نمیتونین مداوم از نوازنده اینو بخواین سریع اجرا کنه این چون من بعض برای بیس فلوت نوشته بودم خیلی به نسبت مثلا ترومپت این خیلی کنتر میشه حالا اگه بخواین روی فلوت سی بنویسین باز حالا این امقا سریع تر میشه سوالی نیست ببخشید من پرسیدم سوری واس دی دیفرنت دی اگزکت دیفرنس بیتوین دی tongue rams and the tongue pizzicato it so, sounds a little the same so the tongue pizzicato is open here and what we do is and the tongue ram we close the hole and we slap our tongue uh, oh it's, think... so it's better for higher dynamics yeah ببین برای تانگ برای پیتزکاتو این حالت پوزیشن دهن این شکلیه خب این سوراخ فلوت بسته نمیشه ولی برای تانگ رم سوراخ فلوت بسته میشه و از اون با زبون داریم that is more clear on outer flute if you can also play it on outer flute they, I think they can hear it well okay so this is the tongue pit And this is the tongue ram. I'll do once more. Thank you. Yeah. اختلافش رو فهمیدین توی تانگ رم یه خود حالت برسی میگیره نسبت به تانگ پیتزکاتو پیتزکاتو خیلی صده سبکیه ولی تانگ رم یه رزونانت بیشتری میگیره از اون بدنه فلوت به خاطر اینکه کلا میچسب به تمام لب تمام سوراخ پوشیده میشه درست مرس اوکی اند آی جاست اسکیپ دیس فور تایم پرپس ام بٹ اف یو وانٹ ٹو چیک ایٹ آؤٹ لیٹر دیٹس ا پیس بائی فرناندا اینڈ شی یوزز ا لوٹ اف پرکاسیو افیکٹس ام Then circular breathing means to inhale and exhale at the same time. We can do it in a single tone, in multiphonics, while singing and playing. Um, so. We can keep going and going, and it's just this continuous influx of air. And is it like comfortable in any register? Yeah. Hmm. Hope. Um. For example, I'm very much interested in the other thing that I was saying about breathing, that we have to do it. Um. And that, for example. در زمانی که مالتی فونیکس هم دارن اجرا میکنن چیزه و من میگم باز بهتره که با نوازنده تون چیز کنی چون ممکنه همه نوازنده ها بلد نباشن با سیکلار علامتش هم همین فلش هست که به حالت گرده یه این دینامیک روی بسفاین Okay. The only thing for us will be the stronger the dynamic, the sooner we have to do the circular reading because we're using more air. But I mean, that's just a technical thing for us. Mm-hmm. Now, first, 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 I mean, the story is that it's not necessary. I mean, I was under. I just got to turn to it. 
اینو داشته باشه قاعدتا مثلا اگه فورت ازش بخوای براش راحت تره ولی بازم یعنی نوازنده با تمرین میتونه اینو حلش کنه بازم ولی باز قاعدتا بهتره که حالا این تو نظر داشته باشی دیگه اگه میخوای فورت باشه Then we have the vibrato also very common and when you are using vibrato you can indicate the speed. We can do either a fast vibrato or slow. Um, you can also control going from slow to fast vibrato. And that's indicated like vibrato lento or MB means molto vibrato. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry. We can also do different types of vibrato. We can, the one that I just did, it was with my throat, like doing to the stream of her. Um, we can also do vibrato with our tongue. So we're blowing and just with our tongue moving the airstream. And we can do vibrato with our lips. And that's also known as, as morzato and it's abbreviated S M or S M O R C. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about composers putting many things together, we have Fernie Howe again. He's asking to do lip vibrato, smart, uh, no, no, smart sato, and then using this type of vibrato, the one we regularly use. So it's possible to mix things. خب الان پس مدل ویبراتو رو اگه دقت کرده باشین ویبراتوی که اون اول انجام داد ویبراتوی که با حلقه بعد ویبراتوی که با زبونه و ویبراتوی که با لب انجام میشه چیزی که به نظرم اومد اینه که ویبراتوی که با لب انجام یعنی حلقه از همه حالت گیردتری داره صدا بعد هرچه به لب نزدیکتر میشه صدا حالت حالا موج چی بگم مسلس مانندی میگه what I, what I um, you know as um, got from the sound was like the more you get close to the lips the vibrato gets like like kind of this kind of wave other than that like a curve wave you will have but then yeah. the more you get close to the throat the vibrato will become like more like a kind of soft vibrato sound yeah like waves mm. is it also <laughs> possible to have a transposition between these kind of vibratos or not like together like maybe like in in one vibrato to move from throat to the tongue to the mouth oh, yeah. and then come back oh yeah that's possible <laughs> <laughs> پس حتی اینم امکان داره که توی شما توی ازن ویبراتو همه این نوع رو بخواین که نوازنده از حلق شروع کنه بعد ویبراتوی بیاد زبون بعد ویبراتوی لب باشه بعد دور برگرده حالا به هر شکل دیگه And yes we can have irregular vibrato like the violin Wow oh. um. Then 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 the... The composer needs to like really like graphically show that. <laughs> so graphically show that, right? Like, like for example, you go this and then soft mm -hmm. and okay. Pas misal na wazan de violino, shoma mitunin niye hatta niya vibrato e na mo na zaman dosto bosi vibrato ke unda diye unde shoma va pekeshi bara na wazan de ke cha model vibrato e miya misal. این بسه واسه ویولونا خیلی مرسومه که این کار رو میکنه میگه برای فلوت هم هستش که مثلا میتونیم موقع شما قطع ویبراتور رو مثلا بکشین که حالا بعد صافت میشه حالا شکل مختلف اوکی اوکی ام اور نیکست تاپیک ایتس دی اورلیک ساوندز اند دت مینز جاست ادینگ یو کن یوز ایت بای هاوینگ یور تون اند ادینگ ایر 
or by using just air on the flute. And that can be indicated with inhale or exhale. And you use arrows to indicate that. So having tone with air. That's another kind of effect to the tone. Mm -hmm. But um, then we also can have transposition between ordinary to air and this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that's very common. Mm -hmm. خب فکر کنم نسبت خیلی واضحه دیگه که اکسل دم و بازدم و با این فلشانشون میدن که ام... اینکه دن ارو دم و بی لیک اینهیل I assume, right? Arrow down will be inhale and exhale will be like this. Yeah. Okay. All right, again. It means both down, it means down. Bad transposition. One thing that I feel a bit difficult to do. I get all the stuff that I'm not carrying. That in both means you have a different color. I feel a bit tired of it. You see, it's just a. مثل این حالت که بین اردینری با ایر ساوند خیلی راحت نوازنده میتونه حرکت کنه بعد وقت تو این بازه رنگی که بین این رنگ هم شما میتونید داشته باشید خیلی خیلی متنوعه <laughs> that got mixed. I did this presentation last week, but for a group of composers in Peru. Sorry. <laughs> so this means the tacking and playing. So we can use consonants, but if you use vocals, that will have a bigger resonance. Um, in this effect, the bigger the flute, the more effective the um, consonants. So like in here, is, is. So it's very fun to use those techniques on the flute. Was it part of Fernanda's piece? Yeah, yeah it was really good. <laughs> um, it's actually really cool. I'd never thought about like having head notes with like the actual consonant you want. It's really yeah. cool. Um, اینجا اگه دقت کنیم ببینین که حروفی که خواسته اولا حروف بی صدا هستن به تف um, and I think um, the more you have those like consonants close to like labial consonants mm -hmm. like the, in front of the mouth uh, that would be better like probably you want you don't you will not be able to do it like or something like yeah yeah that's that's very true mm -hmm. um yeah the more in front the more they will sound on the flute mm -hmm. because what we want is the sound to get into the tube to get it amplified so that's why those things that happen in the front or have vocals speak more mm -hmm. چیز دارم یه قسمت جلوی دهان هستن و شما نمیخواید خ یا ق استفاده کنید اینا کیفیت بهتری بهتون میده البته اینجا ک رو داره ک حالت وسط دهانه باز آره باز بعد اینا رو چیز کنید دیگه با خودتونم اگه میخواین حالا چیز کنید um, have you ever had this experience to have also IPA or like this kind of maybe thing you added to this yeah i i did had it in a piece in which they were using ipa but to tell me how they wanted to shape the throat oh, oh for getting different color on long tones and multiphonics because if you change your throat position you will change the color wow that's a huge topic by itself yeah it is <laughs> خب الان ما وارد یه بحثی شدیم که میتونه یک مسئله ریسرچ باشه واسه شما ها هستن اگه با IPA آشنایی ندارین 
کافیه فقط تو گوگل بزنید آی پی ای اینترنشنال فونتیک الفابت یک داستان بزرگی هست خودش همونجا بهتون میگه الان من سوالی که از ترسا پرسیدم اینه که هیچ وقت شده بخواد به جای همین فونتیکسی که این پایین داره از حروف آی پی ای استفاده بشه چون مثلا فرض کنین تی که ما توی عربی داریم این تای دسته دار مثلا با تی که فارسی داریم اینو هیچ وقت نشه با تی نشون داد اینجا یه چیز مثل حروف آی پی ای استفاده میشه که خیلی دقیق نشون میده که کدوم تلفظ دقیقا مسئله ای که ترسا گفت با آی پی ای برخورد داشته حالا یه بحث خیلی جالب تر از این شو بحث اینه که همون حالت از آی پی ای استفاده کرده بودن واسه اینکه حالت زبون و اون پوزیشن هنجره اون, اون شکل رو بخواد به نوازنده نشون بده که نتیجهش چی میشه؟ نتیجهش میشه رنگ صدایی مختلف روی ساز حالا برید دیگه دنبالش پیدا کنید که دقیقا چه اتفاق میافته And our next topic is trails. We have different ways of doing that. You can either do a trail on the same note and that's called bisbigliando and that's used to change the color of the note like in this first example with A, F, sorry. Then we have trills that are in a bigger spectrum of notes like the second one and that's called tremolo. So it's bigger, the cup. Um, then we have for double trills, like on the same note. And we can do trills with multiphonics as well. But when using multiphonics for trills, it's convenient to have multiphonics that are close together with fingerings. If not, it's kind of a gymnastic show for our fingers. <laughs> okay. فقط ما فکر کنم همه چی واضح بود. فقط نکته آخر رو بگم که برای مولتیفونیک اگه شما میخوان تریل داشته باشین، بهتر مولتیفونیک های استفاده کنید که فینگرینگش رو خیلی نزدیک به هم باشه و این کمتر بخواد تغییر مثلا اینجوری نباشه مثلا فقط نهایت یه هر مثلا یکی انگوش دو تا انگوش مثلا حرکت کنه تریل اوکی بشه and something else you can do on the flute it's the glissandos we can do it by bending the pitch with our embouchure so it's like and that can give us between a quarter tone and half tone and there are some that give you a bigger range like this one so that was only without amateur and then we have the holes that allows us to do glissandos i mean I feel in this case, we're never as good as the strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it depends. So um, for the fingerings, it's not possible on like any sort of intervals. It needs to be diff like a specific type of fingering that you can have that sort no. of glissando. No, we, I have seen it on whatever the composer wants. Oh, it's our job to figure out what how to do it. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. Oh, pass. In just a day, can make a barrier. Gilisandra, if you are the fingering mechanic, the other job is to do the other job. But no, you can't do it. 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 دارین نمیتونید به همچین کیفیتی از فلوت انتظار داشته باشید. <laughs> And then we have the microtones which happen as we just did. We either you can do it by bending the tone with your embouchure or by using alternate fingers which is also a mix of 
opening holes. So. Oh, my like the cat didn't like the microtones. <laughs> <laughs> فکر کنم اینا خیلی واضحه که برای ماکروتون یا از فینگرینگ استفاده میکنن که معمولا اون فینگرینگی که سوراخ بیشتری داره که امکان رو بهشون بده که پیچ رو تغییر بدن یا اینکه از امبوشره که حالتی که زاویه که لب با فلوت میگیره and the other thing we can do on the flute is whistle and play so when we whistle we blow air so that makes us be able to play two independent lines so you can put in the lower line the one that you want the fingering on the flute to happen and then you can put on the top line the whistle part so i'll try to do this Can I also hear it on outer food? Yep. I think that mo- that is again more clear on alto and louder. And possibly yeah. much even louder on bass flute. Yeah, potentially. <laughs> potentially, yeah. Yeah, so those are the things or the general things that we can do on the flute. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> cool. I asked a lot of questions, which I wasn't supposed to, but <laughs> came to. Again, Bacho, so I will not ask any questions. I will let our students to ask their questions. Sorry. Um, once in my piece, uh, my performance, my performer played in notes that I didn't know what exactly was it, but it was sound very good. Um, it was kind of a whistle tone, but it wasn't the whistle tone. I mean, it was a higher dynamic. It was kind of overblowed, but it wasn't overblowing. I didn't know what it means or name, but it was kind of cool. I don't know what it's called or something. It sounded like a whistle tone, but it, it sounded was... like a whistle, not a whistle tone in flutes. Oh, and was he whistling? Maybe he was whistling. No, I think he just blowed a little harder. Hmm. But I don't know how to mention it. Maybe just overblowing on a high register. Can we try it now to see if if that's the one you were? But it was, it was like a whistle, right? Yes. No, that was a kind of like the harder whistle, like a screaming, the flute. Like the flute was screaming. I don't know how to tell it. Maybe you have a super amazing flutist. I don't know what he was doing or she. I try to find it. I'll tell you when I found it. Okay, thank you. Do you have any other questions on those things? Solid, the gay batch or another So, if you happen to have any other questions, that's my email. I'm very happy to answer any questions that might come up later. 
Um, Milad is asking how um, accurate we can ask for microtones. Oh, that's a big topic. Um, I feel uh, like overall we can make it. I guess it will depend on the flutist, but the flute itself is out of tune. So it's when we're doing microtones, we have to use fingers and also our ears to be adjusting. And it's very relative. Whenever I have played microtonal pieces, like I put my fingering, I'm with the tuner, but then it's in another instrument comes and it has the same tone and then you have to adjust to that line. So I feel it's a bit relative. Like, do you remember that piece we did in January from, oh, I forgot the name of the teacher composer. But anyway, he was asking for microtones and we had to be flexible. Oh, wow. But um, then um, if somebody's using that um, like keyless my, uh, flute, mm -hmm. uh, what about that? Oh, yeah. Well, I have heard great stories about that. Like I'm taking my Persian music class and the teacher keeps saying like, get the known key flute because microtons are easier there, but I still haven't find or I still don't have one, so I don't have any experience, but I have heard it's easier to make them there. Okay, so I will translate this. Um, I mean, flute is also bad galeria for that microtone is on it. Because Colland flute as Colland is a false and always the sound is that it has to control the tone that it is tuned. بعد حالا ماکروتونی که تو میخوای باز بستگی داره به این که چه سازی در کنار فلوته که خود فلوته بعد خودشو به اون سازه بتونه اجاز کنه و بعضی اوقات امکانش نیست به خاطر اینکه فلوت کی داره و این کیا باعث میشه که کار فلوت محدود بشه ولی فلوت هایی هستن که کی بدون کی هستن و حتی خب خیلی گرونه نوازنده ها معمولا نمیتونن بخرن اونو رو ولی چیزی که هست ما خودمون الان استاد ساز ایرانی داریم کیاوش کیاوش نورایی خود ترسا داره باش موسیقی ایرانی میگذرونه چیزی که کیاوش میگه که باز میگم این ماکروتونا روی همچین فلوتی خیلی راحت تره ولی خب بعد بگرد نوازندش رو پیدا کنی که داشته باشه اون ساز Sorry, I found the part that was the sounding the special thing I said. Can I play it? Oh, sure. Um, I'm sorry. We can't hear it. Um, Shayan, yeah. uh, are you able to share it with us? Could you hear? You couldn't hear it at all? No. No, no. Uh, so I'll try again somewhere else. Sorry. Okay. You can send it uh, to us, like the file to the chat. Then we can hear. Uh, Kamran also has a question. I can send a link to, from Spotify. Can you play it somewhere else? I can't. I don't have another can, device. Just, just put me the link. Put the link okay, okay. in the chat. Um, Kamran also has another question. Then Milad also has a question. Uh, I have not a question. I just wanted to, uh, can you write your email in the chat? I couldn't uh, take note of that at first. <clears throat> and uh, Nassim, you can make um, Shayan co-host to share his computer sound. No, we, we have this, uh, uh, he, he said the, he sent the link to the, to here, I will share it now. Just a second. Okay. Um, 
Miras was also asking about an idea that what will happen if we um, if we close the flute end with a with a paper or kind of a paper towel maybe what would happen? Okay. Um, so by the end of the flute, Mila, do you want it to be like at the end of the flute, right? Right. I'll close it with my hand, but it doesn't change anything unless I close everything. So like I'll play. Because what happens whenever we have keys open here, the tone is coming by the first hole. So that's why it doesn't alter. But let me see what I can put in here. One second. Shayan, go to the chant. یه کد سی و شیش دقیقا همون نوتی که حالا قبلش میتونیم آماده شیم ولی یک و سی و شیش دقیقا همون نوت اجرا میشه اوکی کامران دیو هاو اینی مور اینی مور کوشن نون اوکی مای هند از I will lower it then. <laughs> okay, so I put a piece of cloth and I'll close everything. It gives you like some harmonics. But very different timbre. Something else I have encountered, we didn't talk about this, is if you put a piece of paper on the A key, if uh, and just press the hole without closing, it gives a very different timbre. That's another way of changing your tone. So only A key? Yeah, only on the A, well, that's what I have found. Only on the A key and pressing the key, but without closing the hole. So that way the paper vibrates and creates this effect of like a double read. Hmm. Yeah, like Chinese. like. Chichana. That's so cool. So I have the example that Sharon was talking about ready. I will share my sound so I can play it for you. Was it the one that you, you wanted? Yeah, the first note. Okay, I'll go back again. Thank you. Point After the tremolo, the first notes. Should I play it again? Yeah. So when it comes to the note, um, point it. Did you guess what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so what she's doing, she's using a lot of air and that creates a lot of harmonics. So it's playing a C, like right on, I think it was a C, I'm not sure, right yeah. on the air. 
um, with because the tone on the flute, the more you blow, the more harmonics you get. So oh. we're playing C, but the ending result it's a lot of partials. So it's that at oh. that point, which is almost going to jump to the next octave. So. So, so you, I have to mention that with more pressure, or I just put an accent and he played it right there. Yeah. Is that okay? That's thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. But maybe, maybe if you really need it, it's not, it's not a bad idea to always exaggerate in your notation. Yeah. You can just put like overblowing or maybe all yeah, the and then in your I feel that's a good... in your instructions. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, a good idea. Yeah. You might, you might also want to like in your instruction write what kind of texture you want like it causes oh. that so because um i want to switch to persian <laughs> um and khayli az یه مثلا فقط بخواد آکسان رو اجرا کنه به اون حالت نخواد برسه این الان یه چیزی که تو اون کیفیت تون رو فرا از آکسان میخوای به خاطر این برای نوازنده بنویس که اوور بلو میخوای و مثلا توش بنویس که مثلا این تکستری نزدیک به مالتیفونیک میده بعد اون وقت توی نوتت مثلا بالای اون رو میتونی مثلا او بی درست Okay, any other questions? So we have like about 40 minutes left. بچه چهل دقیقه ما الان وقت داریم اگه ایده ای سوالی چیز داریم که قرار بود بیاریم حالا الان وقتشه که بهترین استفاده رو بکنیم ببخشید این که الان ما قراره که اینجا یه قطعه ای بنویسیم بعد از این کار و بعدش با ترستا یا با کسی دیگه قرار اجرا بشه این پلان رو من دقیق متوجه نشدم همه که قراره چی کار بکنیم از جایه بر. Nice. Um, so I would translate first for you, Teresa, what he's asked about, but then I will also explain. Um, so he's asking about that what's going to happen after this workshop, that if they're supposed to like write a piece for you, or um, what's going to happen in kind of Brutist um, thing. So that what, uh, what happened was that, can I just talk in English? Is everybody okay? Shiva also, are you okay? And okay, I will translate it after that. Anyway, um, no flutist actually submitted for our class, which is really bad. I, it is actually really a struggle to get performers to come to MMC. Okay, Persian. Um, قرار ما این بودش که بچه فلوتیست ایرانی بیان ثبت نام کنن که بعد اینجا هم یه چیزی بشه برای اکسند تکنیک نوازنده فلوت همون یاد بگیرن همینجا شما بعد اون وقت با هم دیگه شروع کنین کار کردن دیگه ولی هیچ نوازنده فلوت اینجا ثبت نام نکردن حالا این بستگی داره به این که ترسا چقدر وقت داشته باشه ام گونا ناو Um, اگه چقدر وقت داشته باشه چون با یه صحبتی هم داشتیم که شما مثلا قطعه مینیاتور شاید مثلا بنویسین زیر یه دقیقه برای خود ترسا بعد حالا ترسا بتونه چیز اجرا کنه راستش این سال دکترای ما جفته ما جفته ما هم دوره ای هستی این سال برای جفته ما یه سال خیلی سنگینه حالا من از ترسا میپرسم ببینم که چجوری شرایط زمانش Okay, so tell us what is happening is that because no flutists showed up for our workshop. So maybe if you have time, no pressure. If you have time, we can keep with that idea that students here will write like shorter than one minute piece for you 
maybe then you will have a like um, performance online performance of time uh, with those pieces. It's sure, if it's, absolutely. If it's that okay? I already told you that was fine. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great then. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'll be more than happy to work, and I'm happy to be here. So, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. And 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 are they able to like email you, ask you questions when yeah. they're writing the pieces? Absolutely. And awesome. at the moment, just for you to know, I have piccolo, alto, and C flute. I'm trying to get the bass from school, but I don't know. Like, I'll I'll let you know if that happens because I love bass flute. <laughs> Are you in San Diego at the moment? No, I'm in Mexico. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. The get back and the get shimmy fun to get. The get now is a day half an has to start at my show. But thought it's a benevisi. Or a bit of a zero year. Now, how you did it. بعد دیگه تو این فاصله هم میتونین قطار رو قطارتونو که دارید می نویسید با خود ترسا اسکیچ بزنید اسکیچ بزنید باهاش بعد دیگه نهایتا اجرا میکنه دیگه فقط الان چیزی که هست در نظر شوشیم بیس فلوت نداره ولی پیکولو داره سی فلوت هست و آلتو آلتو متاسف sadly my most favorite is not there <laughs> And I don't know if you got to see the recordings, so you know how I play the things I do, but they are there on the slides. I didn't run them because of time today. Um, but if I like, really, if you have any questions, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all have the slides. They all okay. have them. Yeah. So I'll send you the, the PDFs for the flute books. So they can see multiphonics and all of that. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that that the last example you had that with that um, speaker icon in it, that wasn't working as PDF because it was supposed to be a PowerPoint. So that mm -hmm. was the only example we didn't have. But other than okay, that, but the others are working. Yeah, right. the others are working. Um, pas hamiye mesalayam ke teresa zade. چیش اجراش میتونیم ببینی حالا ما به خاطر امروز به خاطر مسئله زمان نتونستیم اونا رو پرفوم پلی کنیم توی کلاس ولی برید بشنوید توی خود پی دی افی که براتون فرستادم هستش همه اینا همه پاورپوینتی که امروز ترس و درس ها من براتون قبلا فرستادم دیگه باز هر سوالی هم داشتین میتونیم از خود ترسا رو پرسیم ایمیلش رو گذاشت اینجا بعد اون کتابم که پی دی افش رو بر من میفرستم من برای شما ها میفرستم دیگه یک سال دیگه داشتیم May you please explain about growling Oh, that's a good question Oh, growling <laughs> So mm -hmm. um, Do you have anything in particular or just go I'll just go over all So it's it comes from our throat and it distorts the sound. So that works better in lower registers, maybe. I can try on the high register. <laughs> I don't know how. So what is it. exactly happening in your throat? Thank you. Rolling. Oh, I'm oh. just, yeah, saying like. Mm. Is it I, like distortion? Yeah. Um, and what distorts the sound? Yeah, because I'm making this effect on my throat. Uh, I'm adding tone that like this type of tone to the flute. And oh, sorry, I didn't see all those questions. Um, yeah, I asked them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, all right. من فکر میکنم روی بیس فلوت خیلی بهتر نشون میده. آره تو رو آلتو فکر کنم خیلی واضح تر بود تا سی فلوت. 
که فکر کنم ری بیس فلوت هم باز خیلی بهتر میشه میده چون چیز میشه دیگه پدیده اه... اسم فارسیش یادم رفته that the frequency will help each other because, because it's a lower تشدید آره به خاطر همون فکر کنم که هرچی ریژیسر لو تر میشه خیلی نتیجه بهتری میده واضح تر میشه And sorry, is it right that uh, with the low notes we can't have uh, high volume and with high notes we can't have low uh, volume? No, we can. Uh, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sorry this is happening over Zoom. It will be probably easier to hear in person, but we can play a low, low register strong. Um, we can play your high register so maybe اینا چیزاییه که تو کتابا میگن همین داستانه که ما اینجا هیب داریم میگیم ما آرزازی با با نوازنده کار کنیم و مستقی با نوازنده کار کنیم چیزی که تو کتاب منظورشونه اینه که مثلا تو نمیتونی سه تا فورته داشته باشی توی رجیس رو پایین خب یا مثلا نمیتونی سه تا پیانو داشته باشی توی رجیس رو خیلی های ولی نوازنده ها مثلا فورته رو میتونه بدهشون بده پیانو ها خیلی خوب میتونه بدهشون بده باز میدونی همه اینا باز خیلی لایه داره توش بستگی داره دقیقا چقدر فورته میخوای چقدر پیانو میخوای آره I think that's kind of impossible to have like three piano at the very high register or like three forte at very low register but forte in low and piano mm-hmm. in high is pretty common yeah thank you very much If you play with a question. Yeah. Okay, if you play in front of a fan, we hear yeah, some it, effect. Yeah, it does. It does. This, I'm, I don't have a fan here or at my home. <laughs> But it does distortion the sound. Hmm. Really good question. Hamid, you might want to consider that. I want to consider that. I want to یه فن یا پنکی حالا با ساز بزنه آره رو صدا تغییر تاثیر میذاره ولی خب الان نداشت بخواد که پرزنت کنه در حال حاضر سوال خوبی خب بچه ها سواله دیگه باز همین الان هم میتونید فکر کنیم به چیزی که حالا اگه به نظرتون میرسه شاید بخواید توی قطعتون استفاده کنیم همین جای تست بدویم باهاش اگه سوالی نیست uh, We write a piece, uh, do, like do it for piano and flute, because uh, I'm pianist and. Um, um, the only thing is that um, it's not easy to do these things via Zoom, and um, then Teresa wants to like it will be much easier for her and flexible in timing that if she will have like solo pieces that she can like arrange them in her own life like time um so it will be much more practical if you just think about solo pieces miniature solo pieces like maximum one minute Uh, sorry, I think I lost connection for, for about 
5 second can you okay. repeat that um ببین داستانی که هست زوم خیلی بد قلقه حتی واسه دوت زدن بعد اینکه ترسا بخواد کار رو اجرا کنه خیلی بهتره که سولو باشه که نیاز نداشته باشه با یه نفر دیگه تایمش رو هماهنگ کنه به خصوص که میگم ما امسال خیلی سال سختیه واسه همون تو دور دکتر به خاطر که کوالیفیکیشن داریم وقت نداریم اگه مثلا ترسا داره میگه واقعا داره لطف میکنه داره میگه ولی اینجور نیستش که وقت زیادی داشته باشیم به خاطر همین اگه سولو بنویسیم هم بهتره نیست. که یه جورای تکنیک آهنگسازیتون هم کمک میکنه که روی یک صدا فکوس کنی همین که وقت یه دقیقه است دیگه خیلی مکسنس میکنه که سولو باشه هم خب به خاطر شرط اجرایی و حالا شرط دیگه چیز هست Um, may Teresa please talk about the sing and play technique. I, I don't know if it was technique or it was, it was in the PDF, sing and play. Oh yeah, um, we can do independent lines when doing that technique. Um, yes. Um, what else about it um it it the range of the voice i guess that will depend of whoever you're working with you can write the lines either on the same stuff um but with when that happens we tend to use a diamond head for the voice part or you can use two separate stuff mm -hmm. yeah it's like if you were creating writing uh, like two lines but it's a bit i mean it takes practice but it's doable تا حدی بله گفتن که اگر درست فهمیده باشم که یه شکل لوزی شکلی میذارن توی نوت بذا بهت بگم آره آره ببین این مثل همین حالته که تو داری مثلا یه ملودی دو صدایی می نویسی واسه یه, واسه یه دونه تکساس دیگه همون حالته حالا یا میتونی یه مثلا مثل همون مثالی که داره تو پی دی افش حالا دوباره میتونی بری ببینی مثلا یه پنج خط حامل جدا بذاری کنارش که من این رو بسید توصیه میکنم به خاطر اینکه اون لوزی امکان داره که با هارمونیک اشتباه گرفته بشه یه جایی واسه نوادندش شاید بستگی داره بستگی داره به قطعه که تو یور داری می نویسی ام... میتونی پنج خط حامل جدا بذاری زیر همون قسمتی که داره نوادنده می خونه ام... نوتی که قراره بخونه روی اون پنج خط جدا بنویسی و نوتی که قراره بزنه خب حالا روی استفه اصلیه یا اینکه سر ام... نوتی که ام... سر نوت شکل لوزیه مثلا به اون نوت اضافه میکنه دیگه یعنی با شکل اینجوری نشون میدی دیگه اون ملودی رو فقط من نفهمیدم باهاش میخونن یعنی در واقع آره، آره. میخونن هم زمان که داره میزنه میخونه آره آره جالب I think you had the example in the kind of in some of the videos, right? Example of that singing and playing at the same time. Um, no, it, that was on the last audio that is not coming through, but I can send you a SoundCloud link. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can I ask something? Yeah, sure. sure. Uh, yeah. If you um, take off the head of the instrument and start playing in it like a trombone or an oboe without a reed, how can how the range of the instrument change or how can we write about it, write for it, and what does it call? 
Oh, well, it depends what you want to do. Like uh, from some techniques we have spoken, like the trumpet embouchure, or you can do like prolato. You have basically one octave. And with the head, you have one pitch with he, the harmonics. Yeah. And playing single notes is possible or not? Like a trumpet. In here? Playing in the, no, no, in the flutes. Oh. Without the head, sorry. Oh, the flute okay. without the head, just the hole. Oh, like if I was blowing here? Yes, yes. That can happen. I'm, it's something I should, I will have to practice it. I have never had to. But... <laughs> I'm just making in the spot, you know? Like it can happen. It's like some sounds practice. like nay, you know. Yeah. Sounds similar. <laughs> but what if you what if you like hold it like trumpet and bowsher that way? Oh yeah. Oh, like this. Um, mm -hmm. And what do you want? me to do and then playing in inside it yeah but doing what yeah blowing like tr like no, no the the lip position be like the trumpet <laughs> like the breath <laughs> like a yes yes yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's doable Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> Can you also try it on alto flute? Sure. How did like a farm? You're going to kill it my lips. Like, it was like <laughs> really brassy sound. Wow. Yes. I think that would like go really well with ba like guitar electric. I like, combine <laughs> it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's also super loud. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Cool. Can you also play multiphonics like that if you like? Oh, but maybe no. not work. No, because for multiphonics, we need the air to come and then do this on the tube. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So when I'm doing that, I'm just bossing. Wow. No, it doesn't damage the instrument. The only thing from what we have talked that damage the instrument is the kick disc. That's horrible. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, because you're... Sorry, what? Kick licks. Kick licks. That's very bad for the instrument because you're hitting very hard. Wow. And yeah. in order for the flute to work, this has to close perfectly all around. So when you're hitting, you're just messing up the pads. Oh. Yeah. I need yeah, to but... like kind of translate also as well. So maybe okay, yeah, sure. We'll watch this later. Um, has bachelor lost fan kiki lick miss a man, he lives all the night on in, so the dog on the corner. Exactly, specifically, I need like really loud kick quicks. <laughs> um, I also wanted to like experiment something else. Can you have trumpets and bow share just mm -hmm. with the head of the sound? Yeah, we love the instrument. What flute? Let's go alto. <laughs> wow. If I take this thing out. You should, 
I think that will go like really well with cello. If you wanna like, hmm, that was loud and cool. I think that like you wanna double a cello, that will like give it like really good depth to that. Yeah, I guess so. But you know, like from only that bit we did, like my lips are tired. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're oh. not brass instruments. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me to play a high pianissimo note, I will be like, oh, that's hard at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think and we have I have a lot of music and I have a lot of music. Okay. 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 At the end okay. of the piece, put it at the oh, end yeah. of the piece. And that's what you did, right, Nancy? Oh, sorry. The thing we asked about playing the flute like this without the head. And does it hurt really bad if we use the whole one minute piece with that technique? Oh, I mean, I mean, if it's asking about tiring lips, I give a yeah. If you want to use that, um, without playing, not trumpet and bocher, but playing the inside the flute without the head, would oh, yeah. it be yeah, that's like, fine. okay. Pass. The, tru the trumpet sound, I mean. The are, are yeah. Unjuri and if you don't want to trumpet and bocher, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever bocher. wants to use trumpet and bocher will beat that at the end of the concert. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> can they also think about miking? Do you do you have possibility to have like miking? What type of um like I at the moment I have, oh, I don't want to touch it. It's going to zoom, but I oh. have this microphone. Direct microphone. Yeah. Okay. But I get I get hosted a here on microphone and stuff the corner. But then in case in direct microphone I get other. But I contact microphone another in. For But it will be like Sorry, a really cool you know, idea. Sorry. Sorry. Can you? record the places too that we can have it audio recording of that or you can just perform it in the online performance no, i can record independently like i have a zoom and i can use that for better quality mm -hmm. thank you yeah. so much awesome awesome may you please من یه من یه ترجمه بکنم بچه ها پس برای این قطعه اگه بخواین شما میتونین جداگونه چیزم رکوردم بگیرید ازش فقط رکوردی که مده میکروفونی که داریم فقط چیزه دیرکت میکروفونه میلاد یور اسکین دات دن علی وی کم تو یو یور اسکین دات ایف وی کن هف میکروفون اینساید فلوت وی کن هف کانتکت میکروفون no, I don't have here, don't sorry. See. You don't have it, but in general, is it possible even? I have played pieces with contact mics inside. Inside, mm -hmm. yeah. And that way, like, kick clicks get crazy. <laughs> yeah. Or a pass contact microphone, Misha, Gozosh, Dohele Flu, Shamvastige, Kick Click, or the خیلی قشنگ مثل بمب صدا میکنه اصلا that will sound like a bomb yeah it will be really loud but then it depends also on your, your amplification sound yeah. system um ali also had another question uh, may you please play the minimum possible dynamics uh, to and bending to the Maximum possible dynamics you can okay. play. Thank you.
Sorry. But that was just a... Wow. <laughs> and uh, really perfect. Thank you. And uh, without harmonics, uh, what exactly is the octaves you can use? Or, I don't know. Is it necessary to use harmonics or... Oh, harmonics are... Um, um, like you can write all the notes normal. Harmonics is only if you want to have a different color on a note. Like mm -hmm. this, I'll just play a regular C scale. That's with regular fingers and I'll do that with harmonics. Sorry. Mm, did something wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, wrong octave. It gives a different color. It will get a like kind of airy, half airy quality. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Well, I think I want to know how many notes we have in without harmonics. Oh, mm -hmm. like regular? I think, I think it's three octaves for flute. Like the three octaves. Three yeah. octaves. And a half. And a half, yeah. Three and, uh, Okay. And the, it is the fluttering or fluttering technique? Yeah, I don't know. Flutter. Flutter. I, I, I've heard it's, it's the most difficult thing. Oh, no. Technique. Because it's just drawing your tongue. That's also I. That's actually I think one of the like easiest one, mm -hmm. pretty common one. Yeah, it's really. You can easy do it follow. precisely in time. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you imagining? Like, w what technique did you want to use it with, or how? In, in meter, in meter, on in rhythm with the music, for example, like tremolo. Oh yeah, that's very doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty common. I need to translate a little bit. Um, pass. Um, avali sual ali budesh ke register um sas shijuriye beishe ke ba harmonika hesab konim ya bezun ham ki ka az harmonik jodo harmonik vasa taqir rang sas ke ye mekta sade halat havadar be nime havadar be. رنگ شده ساز اضافه میکنه رجیستر سازم سه اکتاو و نیمه بعد از نظر فلاتر تانگم این حالت خیلی تکنیک ساده یه و همه جوره با هر ریتمی که بخواه نهادن را اجرا میکنه هیچ مسئله ای نداره We have 10 more minutes to go Any other question? Thank you and to have a good plan and because you have less time every day it goes forward and do you want to set a deadline for us to send it in the exact time that you can do it easier than we have a plan about when the performance will begin or when the recordings will be ready for us very good question Oh, do you want to set it up, Nassim? It's up to you. It's up to you whenever you want uh, You want it to happen. We have no rush, though. So. Like, how much time do you need for those pieces to happen? I don't think for a one-minute piece, we need so much time. I mean, if we have an idea, we can do it very fast. I don't think, just... think like that. <laughs> Ask my students before. Milan oh, yeah. and Hamid. Like, it's not easy. It's not easy. I think you guys should tell me how much time you need, then we can do readings. How about six months? Six or maybe months? at least like three months. I would six say. Months. Milad, Milad, Hamid, talk here. You think <laughs> how much six time? Months, now? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, I want to explain this in Persian. 
قطعه ای که میگین فقط ایده نیستش که اون ایده تازه اولشه بعد میاد فرمش بعد میاد حالا این که چجوری اصلا لوتاسیون کنی اینجا میلاد و حامد داستانهای خیلی زیادی دارم براتون در این زمینه که بگم لوتاسیون <تصفيق> قطعه خودش داستانیه بعد ریسرچ باید بکنی توی همین قطعه حالا الان یه مقداری از سوالات کردی ولی توی قطعه حالا بعد زمانی داشته باشه که با خود ترسا حالا بحث کنی اینجا حالا چجوری اینجا چجوری حالا اینجا چجوری میشه بهتر بشه باز دوباره یه سری ایده های جدید میاد یعنی الزامی نداره که حالا بگیم یه قیه یه دقیقه از قطعه های کار نداره که میتونی بیاره دیگه نه فایده ای برای تو داره نه شاید نوازندت اونقدر لذت ببره ولی یه چیزی باید بنویسی که هم ترسا will like it to play it she will be musically satisfied that okay this is a good piece I'm gonna perform it um, and همین که خودت هم یاد بگیری چیزی ازش که خب حالا من این قطعه رو نوشتم حالا کلی چیزا یاد گرفتم اینجا I think uh, I think like it's three months between like three months to six months for deadline would be good. Hmm? What do you think, Teresa? Sorry, I meant maybe then December. Before the end of the year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me write it down. So it can be a Christmas concert. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, you know, honestly, it's really up to you, Teresa. It's because we are using your time here. It's yeah, really up to you. Who knows what's going to happen next year? So maybe if we do it December this year. Okay. So December, um, like first of December for the time they will be like deadline. Deadline for pieces. Yeah. Mhm. Mm And then we can talk about finding a time and date for the concert close to that, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe like any, maybe sorry, like January, any, like first, like before the school starts. I don't know. It also depends on the pieces, like how much technique. They, they're asking. Or maybe if they turn in the pieces December 1st that we could have this concert like mid-December. Wow. That's really generous. <laughs> What do you guys think? بچه‌ها You have almost one month to compose, okay? I'm okay with that. Okay. So then, so then that's fine then. Yeah. Or think about it and let me know whatever works best for you guys. Nothing. You can just let me know what you guys. Think. I think I think that's good because um, then we will. Because people have different pace to compose. Then like someone, someone might be like ready in one month, someone might be ready in one week, someone might need 
like three months. But then we will, um, yeah, I think first December would be like a good time that we will totally sure that everybody's done that time. And also it would be the time that you're like between breaks. Mm -hmm. So it will be also easier for you as well. I think that's good. I think that's really generous of you. I have another suggestion that it can be good for everyone. I mean, if it's um, became a good project, we can even make an album from it and even share it on different platforms and make a bigger thing out of it. I, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> it depends on between you and your performer. I'm fine with everything. <laughs> Is it duration can be more than one minute or if not, it's one. Yeah. all of the compositions can be one track. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a tiny, tiny album. Yeah. Um, just keep it one minute. It um I get a in Bay Man in Sishke Rete Shomo Ardish Kame. A hang says in Mr. Weber. کلهم رپرتوار زندگیش کلهم 45 دقیقه است. سن هیچ ربطی نداره. اصلا همچین چیزی نیست. Take a look at Webern's pieces and then you will understand that if you're writing one minute piece it doesn't mean that it's like easy piece. It's like not important. It doesn't mean at all. We just want to make sure that Teresa will have enough time to like really dig into your pieces. Because then you will see that when you're working with a good performer, it's like totally different thing. She will also come back and ask you questions. What are you doing here? And you're going to have a really huge challenge, I'm telling you. <laughs> Do not underestimate that. <laughs> Can I ask a final question? Sorry. Um, about the thing we suggested that you take the head out and blow like a trumpet. Uh, I mean, how many notes can you play? Is it easier to not write any notes and lay it up to you? Or is it better to write? Can we write different intervals? How is it possible for you? But playing like a trumpet? Yes, the blowing in it, yes. I did a chromatic scale. So this is supposed to be B. But I don't think that's B, right? Mm. Do you want um, me to get the toner out so we can exactly know? Okay. Um, guys, we are running out of time. We are just uh, by the end of time. So if you have any questions, oh, you want to play it, Teresa? No, the Sorry. transposition of this. It's an... It's a fifth below. So whatever I finger, it sounds a fifth below. Wow. Thank you. Sure. I learned something too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Um, pass. Um, thank you, Teresa, for really, really, really being generous and giving us our time and also giving the chance for uh, students to write for you. Gotta stop the recording here. Thank you.